Well, after losing 3-2 to Arsenal, it looks like Eric Ten Hag is not a happy man. He's pissed off. He has gone hard at these players because he knows the standards for what he said for United and they look like they down tools for second. They lose their focus. Obviously, they concede a winning goal into the 90th minute. Welcome to United Matters Channel. It's not only Ten Hag that's really going ahead to, to really give us his verdict as far as this game of football is concerned, but even Roy Kane has come out and really expressed his gratitude to Eric Ten Hag, but also some negatives as far as these players of United are really concerned. So, welcome to this channel. Smash the like button, comment, and share. Rock and David is my name. And let's get into this because it's really thick and fast. Now, Ten Hag said, maybe in the next couple of hours, realize we're in a good position, but at this moment, I am annoyed. I told the players, if you want to win trophies, you have to change mentality because it's not possible you are in a top game making such big mistakes. So, Ten Hag is telling the players of United that if you want to go where the the big boys are you have to do what the big boys do you can't concede like that and that's what pissed him off because he told these players god has granted you a chance we've worked hard on the pitch got in front we are in the lead why do you give our stupid goals <laughs> that's it because all those three goals that really went in through we are unpreventable the first one we allow in a cross at the far post even bukayo saka Sorry, Aaron Ran Bisaka not in a perfect way to monitor and keep his man. Obviously, Edin Ketia heads it home. Second goal, Luke Shaw does his job, shields Bukayo Saka, or sends Bukayo Saka out of the dangerous position. Ericsson gives Bukayo Saka a shooting position because if Shaw has done his job, Ericsson had to be there as you saw when Freddie came in through because when Freddie came in through, he covered that space and Bukayo Saka couldn't find himself in the shooting position to shoot at our goal. So, that is all about mentality because if your mentality is weak, all milled, you'll say a draw is enough. <laughs> That's it. But if at all you are having a good mentality, you go for this game. Like you saw Arsenal fans, they're saying, we want to go for this game. And they we are calling in for that and Mikel Arteta brought on Trossard and obviously won the game of football but I mean it's everything that has surrounded this loss the Glazers are to blame because they're not backing the manager <laughs> that is another deal that you need to know about but what is running the heads of these players that are really available because if you are hearing that the team is really wanting more players when you are still playing at the club that means you are not doing enough these are kind of games you come here and announce yourself that all right I'm the player that should be playing for Manchester United. So these players are not doing enough for some of them to really blank all, <coughs> to really drain or really clear out the brain of the manager that don't get in new players. I'm here. I can get the job done. Like Bisaka is doing. Because Bisaka is not a player that Eric Ten Hag right, liked from the goal. But because of the circumstances of Diego Delo being injured, Ten Hag found himself playing that, playing Bisaka, and Bisaka has gone ahead to prove that he might turn into a defender that we all talk about because defensively is tight, and obviously his offensive game is improving game in game out. So I believe he really put himself in the picture that don't bring another right back, I can get this job done. That's what we need to see other players do on the field of play. That manager don't look for another player. I'm here to win this game of football and really win it. Then he said, today we have to accept. We are not satisfied with the defining performance because we can do better. You start well and you have to take benefit from the situation. It can't happen at you concede like we did. Obviously, the three goals we concede are all avoidable. <laughs> That's it. Whether Casemiro is in, whether Casemiro is out, whether Martial is in, whether Martial is out, whether Dallo is in or out, those three goals are avoidable. You get? A cross comes in. You've let it in. Why do you let, why do you let Grant Xhaka have a cross or bring in a cross when he's not having someone on him? Because he was near the 18 yards box area. And guess what? We are from a corner and we are having close to 11 players in our 18-yard box area. How does that happen? He needed to be having a player marking him to really follow that run. Okay, the cross has come in through. Why does Bisaka lose his man? 
Those are goals we shouldn't be conceding. And that's why Ten Hag is annoyed and pissed about this game of football because the players are giving out goals that wouldn't have really gone ahead to go into the back of the net. That's why he's really furious at them and he's pissed because he believes this is not how we should be beaten. We have to make it hard for team to beat us. Look at how we made City trail and sweat to score against us. But in that first goal, Arsenal never even broke a sweat to really score against us. <laughs> that's it. You need to make your enemy hard. You need to make it hard for your enemy to get a result on you. Especially in a game like that when you when you score first, you get, and you're given a chance to go all out and redo the needful. So I believe they needed to go all out and do the needful for the team and really do the needful. Now he said, what bothers me is that we considered goals that we don't usually concede to be a great team. You have to learn from them. It's not acceptable, obviously. As I've told you that all those three goals were unavoidable. Sorry, we are avoidable, not unavoidable. They are avoidable. But we lacked concentration. Our concentration levels dropped. And guys, every time we considered, it was the drop in our concentration levels. But if I told you keep our concentration levels high, we don't consider those goals. We don't consider those goals. So as things stand, we are really in a mild situation but i believe we are going to lift ourselves up but ten hag is talking of we don't concede goals like those you get the goal you consider against city it was almost like that but uh it was a very good display by city because they really played into us a lot quick passing rashford never followed back the run freddy was caught off because he was marking maharez um Malaysia was marking a different player and Rashford would have gone in through to track Kevin De Bruyne didn't do that and Rashford is really a victim of that because he doesn't track back he doesn't track back you get so but the game of Crystal Palace free kick nothing would have done on it mm, which other game we played we played I think we don't even considered we first considered a goal against Crystal Palace that's it so it shows you that we don't concede goals like that and when they start going in through the manager is worried because we shouldn't be giving out goals like those we are a side that ten Hag has really tamed to be a very good a very good side at really not conceding stupid goals so he was really too bad about it so he said it irritates me immensely how quickly they were allowed to score one one but this fits in the process that we are in right now we are not at the top we are not a top team but we but but we if learn from but we learn from this but if we learn from this we will get a step closer obviously no one is blaming ten hag and these players by the way however much we come here and we criticize them but they've blown i think they are punching above their weight according to what they were last season i think they are really doing a lot they've added more than 100 percent because at least we are not losing like we are losing last season last season at emirates we are beaten thoroughly and we couldn't really resist it what arsenal was really bringing to us so i believe the players are doing a very beautiful job and maybe at a point x10 how we'll get there and he's talking us he's talking about of us not being a top team yet that's it but we are really trying to really accelerate and act ahead of schedule so And this is something I really like about Ten Hag. You know, when you're having a manager like Ten Hag say this, you know that you're having the right person to go ahead and redo the needful because he said today we have to accept we are not satisfied with this defining performance because we can do better. You start well and you have to take benefit from the situation. It can't happen that you concede like we did. So he accepts, yeah, but obviously he says we can't concede like we concede. That's it. So. I believe that's a take that's that's a give and take from Ten Hag and I think we'll build from there if at all everything goes on well and really does the needful and he said again you know this man is really a blessing to United you know I always call him the best thing that has ever happened to Manchester United ever since Alex Ferguson left he said I want to win it's not good enough we want to be number one but mistakes that is clear and what i told them so he told them that if i told you want to do to be number ones you shouldn't be making mistakes and he's talking about that it's not good for us to lose we want a win and he wants to be number one as 
a footballing coach at one of the biggest teams that we are sleeping giants and is trying to really reactivate it into motion of winning the trophy so he says that is not how top teams coach that's not how top teams play especially in defense you go ahead of arsenal at their place you make it hard for them to score <laughs> that's it so that is eric ten hug for you and i really like the way he really reacts and one thing i liked about him is that he has not talked about the referee he has not come out and talked about any thing concerning Arsenal he's talking about his players because he thought that he had a perfect game plan to kill off this game and he go he went ahead fast but the players really let him down in certain moments of really defending so <clears throat> Roy Keane came out and said United have made progress that is true but at the end of the game I look at Shaw still at left back there are questions about him Anwan Bisaka Freddy Scott McTominay it's as if United had not turned the page on the problems of the past He's right up for Luke Shaw, playing left back. I'm, I'm really, I'm really pissed at people who are criticizing Luke Shaw playing at the central defense. You get? Because if you are a left back, times most of the times have to pivot into the central defense position. So, I believe the fact he is really portraying out is of one Bisaka, Fred and Scott McTominay. United had not turned the page from the past problems. That's it. Mark Fred, it's a partnership that has failed at Manchester United because none of those players can play as a CDM. Without Casemiro, we are really shite. We are really weak. You get? Our transitions in the attack are known really as those that people come out and really get afraid of. So, the absence of Casemiro means that we should really get in a backup of Casemiro. And if I told you, tell me right now, you get in a striker or a CDM, it's a CDM for me. Because at a point, X Casemiro will get an injury and will be out. What will we do? You get? That means our season would have been buried. And we don't want to see our season being buried like this. But Roy Keane is factor onto that. But the board is the problem because they don't want to get the managers. They don't want to get the manager, the players he wants, not so. Then there is a man known as Roy Keane. He continued to say that there is a bit there is a bit to go with United. They did come and perform, but it's hard to win games when you concede three goals. That's it. Obviously, when you concede three goals and not having close to three of your best players on the pitch, then you can't score more because it pitched an exit when you couldn't even cross the center line of Arsenal because I thought Ten Hag said let's go for a draw. That's why Ganacho never came on through Ali and he brought him on when we conceded. But I believe in the in the mind of the manager, he really thought that it was a game beyond Ganacho because he you know, that's what we call player management. You bring Ganacho in this game, he doesn't perform well, the entire world is watching him, his confidence might die off. You get and the reason that's why you brought him at the game of cities because we are playing at Old Trafford. There, he comes in through because he has fans luring him and cheering him. But at Emirates, they are going to be booing him. So, at a young age, he might find himself disappointed and not really being the player that you want to be. So, that's what Reikin really said. And obviously, he hinted about this. This is what we call hitting the nail at its top. He says... With the 20 minutes to go and you are looking at the bench, there is nothing much. There is, n there is not much options. They are still short in that department. That's it. In the March reaction I did on this channel, I was live. I told you that the problem we are, f we are facing as Manchester United is simple. We are not having options off the bench. Arsenal wins that game because of Trossard. You get? Even when... Odegaard meets that ball with Freddy to pass it to Edinketia. It was like Trozard had positioned himself well to hit that ball in the back of the net. So, it shows you how good Arsenal were to really see ahead. As it said, the YC ahead. They brought in Trossard and they registered him hurriedly because they knew that he had a part to play in the game against Manchester United. And obviously, he played that part very well. That third goal, Trossard had a hand in it. So, after that, we lose because we are short in that department of the bench. But I believe 
will get better. We pray to it that Martial gets fit, Sancho returns to full fitness, Dallo returns and Casemiro. If at all those four players come on through and are variable, at least we'll be going for a very huge run of wins, according to me. Then Mr. Roy Keane. No, there is something there is something Eric Ten Hag concluded with. Ten Hag said something. Ten Hag said something. Where is it? 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 Ten Hag has something he said before. All right. Ten Hag had the following to say as we close up the session that it was a great game, a lot of tempo, and the audience is the big winner. Top two teams, but of course, we are disappointed when you lose this game in the last stage. All goals we concede today are mistakes. It can't happen. And I think he's going to go ahead and be tell those players today that if we don't improve on our defending, we are not going to get where we want. You get that means we'll go ahead and really lose to teams like this. And situations like this should be managed maturely because we're having experienced players and their mistakes shouldn't allow to happen to the team of Manchester United. So, thank you very much for watching in through. What are your thoughts for Eric Ten Hag getting pissed? Roy Keane joining him and really giving his verdict. So, tell me what your thoughts are as far as this is concerned. Rock and David is my name. I sign out for now. May the Omatul bless you abundantly. I'm out. See you later.